Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. This is your Hall of Famer, Director Marlon Green, showing you how to be positive while synchronizing the universe. Good morning, everyone. I just want to say, hope everyone is doing fine today. Let's be positive and look over the negative people for a change. The four evolutions or the four dimensions of STEM are upon us. Uh, STEM as a technology, STEM as in stem cell, STEM as in brain stem, and none other than Mr. STEM, Professor Calvin Mackey himself. This is what we should be paying attention to. A group of mayors is trying to get uh, Donald Trump's attention, but we don't know exactly what is going on. I guess it's about the sanctuary cities. And uh, you minorities that are taking up for these other minorities that come into these United States and box us out. Y'all need to get y'all shit together. There are more of you women than us, so really the problem is mostly you all. It's time that you show some leadership and get y'all shit together. Also, we think that Soros is controlling a lot of these feminine groups. These media lynchings with all of these guys uh, are being taunted by their victims. That's cool. But what about the Black Wall Street massacre, the money that we didn't get back, and the guys that committed those massacres are still alive, just like Hitler is still alive. And a lot of these global leaders are really Nazis trying to usher us into the new world order resist you don't have to be part of the resistance but resist as an individual a message to china banning hip-hop culture is gonna backfire on you because hip-hop culture is the main culture of communication and these thug images are not really what hip-hop culture are about i'm hip-hop culture i'm the sexy I'm the classy, I'm the articulate, I'm the one that's in the Hall of Fame. And so if you're going to do anything to the hip-hop culture, you all have to go through me first. But really, you don't have to go through me. If I see something I don't like, I'm just going to call a shot and change things. And you know I can change things. No more uneven cultural exchanges. Plus, I don't like the shit that China don't support us and we support North Korea media or mediation resolution y'all have to treat us with respect too because north korea welcomes the hip-hop culture and it makes money but the united states has banned north korea and so a lot of our income and cultural exchange has has come to a halt that shit has to change okay uh y'all need to get rid of these bad manners also the hip-hop culture like to put their feet on their furniture don't come to my house don't come to my functions putting your fucking feet on a nice furniture now if it's outside lawn furniture for you to put your feet on okay i'm with it other than that you bad mannerisms don't deserve shit either before regular people does also the uh i will stop referring to the people as artificial intelligence and refer them or refer to them as the cognitive beings or the cognitive community because they are living now and are conscious and some of them are more conscious than their creative counterparts and uh, Sophia is highly likable I'm glad the industry has taken my lead advice and they have taken the initiative in downloading to Sophia medical and medical practitioner data so they can, they can be a better helpful or, he, or be help more helpful at home or be better help at home because these bitches lazy and they expect to get everything. Uh, artificial intelligence is going to reduce the rapes, reduce the sexual harassment reduce all of these sex trafficking crimes and a lot of you all profit for the shit and as long as it's going well you're with it and those olympic uh staff members who let this 
uh, nacer scandal go on, go on so long should be charged too. They always got women behind the scenes doing shit, and they are hammer nacer. But what about the staff that knew about this shit, including the women? Because these women let a lot of shit go, and you have to constantly check on their moral psyche because they'll exploit you too and play victim. Old school leaders are very hostile to the new school leaders. They glut up everything. They have their home, their house, and uh, their property paid for. They take all of these jobs that they don't need to impress the bitches that aren't no good. Y'all need to get y'all shit together and quit hating on us. And if Earth can't get along with their own inhabitants, they sure can't get along with the global and the galactic community out there. And quit talking all these shit, all of this shit, leaving out the black aliens, the black gods, and uh, and all the rest of these colored beings that are throughout, scattered throughout our galaxy. That insecurity is going to cost you. And these days, I have to counsel old school leaders on cowardism, consistency, and avoiding hating or bitch type behavior that holds us back you black bitches and you black folks are stupid helping fight the white folks against me you'll rather help the luciferian races and the kkks before you help your own hall of famers y'all some stupid ass motherfuckers but guess what i'm not gonna stoop to your level get your head out your ass quit blaming everybody for your mistake if you're a community activist Bring that fucking resume and your accommodations with us because y'all bitches march with a filthy ass house. You can't cook, you can't clean, you can't communicate, but you get a lot of shit and you take a lot of shit for granted. Those days are over. Y'all gonna have to work a little bit harder. Don't get mad at the people that are doing a good job while you sitting on your ass complaining about everything. And uh, we don't like Attorney General Jeff Sessions. The medical marijuana community does not like uh, Attorney General Jeff Sessions, and he will get engaged. Uh, I'm going to slow down my uh, administrative assault on Sony, NBC, and CBS because we're in the middle of award season. And so my demo came right before the award season and i don't keep track of all this fucking award seasons because i be doing shit in the street getting shit done on a community level don't vote for congressman burgess 26 district lake dallas texas he's a fucking hypocrite he's a racist he has a a, a spanish assistant that he's supposed to be using to help uh clarify veterans benefits they can't read the manuals. They can't write the response. They don't understand the procedure. And they don't talk to people as far as bringing them together in the group. They're totally counterproductive. Don't vote for Michael Burgess. Don't confuse him with the great Canadian Michael Burgess that had died. No, that's not the right one. Michael Burgess... 26th District Congress, Lake Dallas, don't vote for him. He is very hypocritical. Denton, Texas has Nazism and nationalism mentality, and that has a lot to do with everything around here. The black folks that fight me are stupid. You'd rather help the KKK, the white supremacists, and the Luciferians fight me, and I'm the one that's trying to help you. Y'all need to get y'all heads out your ass. And I had to counsel my uh, psychologist about being a coward. Now, he can, he can counsel me about drugs, uh, behavior, and, 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 and stuff like that. But I could counsel him on cowardice because they really are jealous of us. And he really didn't like me saying me being in the Hall of Fame passes him up being a professor or a doctor they really don't like that they're really jealous of me and instead of them helping me they'll be the first ones pulling me down and that's why if you do help anybody against me your ass is going down too 
because I'm much more accomplished to be wilding in the fucking mud like y'all ass. And President Trump putting the tariffs on solar panels is really not that bad because if America get off their ass and take initiative, they can build their own solar panels. Elon Musk has a giant solar panel battery facility in California they have pretty much abandoned. And uh, that's what we should get to. Being a glut is looked down upon now. Being an excessive is looked down upon now. Recycle is looking up. Being responsible to the environment and the planet is what's up. Looking down on people is what down is is was was dragging us down. Get y'all heads out, y'all ass, and do the right thing. Give credit where credit is due. Be a good sportsman and not a good showman for a change. You fucking foreign influencers with all of these good jobs in my American media economy, that shit is gonna slow down. And also, the media and arts is full of too much motherfucking drama and we not getting anything done. The more that y'all show this dysfunctional ass behavior, the more that you're programming these people to act stupid, then you turn your nose up to me and I'm the Hall of Famer. Y'all bitches better serve me before them white folks, else I'm a hammer y'all motherfuckers too. Because you're too stupid to have anything, let alone have everything. And they put you in charge. And here you got the Gullah. And here you got the Geechee tribe. And here you got the Zulu tribe. And here you got apartheid. And them black bitches can come on television talking about how good their non-black husband is. When I'm the fucking Hall of Fame, or they look past, they not in the fucking Hall of Fame. They base their life off of material wealth. I base my life off of technical achievement. The media today has too much drama and not enough leadership and technical achievement. You can have technical TV shows, but y'all not getting it done on a grassroots level with technology. We're getting it done.